y'all. Uh, this is Mandy. Got the echo. Um, I'm just curious what you can do at JJ. More comfortable. What have other done to frustrate your put her in these past two games? Yeah. Look, you know, obviously we need JJ. She's a key piece of what we're trying to do. But I think. Um, you know, they played a really physical. They didn't allow her to get the ball. You know, There's uh, three people around her every time she caught it. Um, you know, and, and like I said, I thought Minnesota's defense was, was extremely good with their activity and their pressure and their physicality. And But, you know, in the end, we, we need to work out how do we get her more open looks and get it into the game because uh, she's important. And if we can get her scoring, it'll, it'll help the rest of us. Alfred? Uh, hi, Cole. We were able to get 11 points from AOL today. Uh, just what were your thoughts on what you did with your team? Uh, sorry, I didn't understand you. Can you repeat that? Sorry, the oh, Wi-Fi is not good. We were able to get 11 points off the bench from oh. AOL. Uh, what did you think about what we were able to get to today? Yeah, look, it was great. It was great to see Leo uh, come out and be aggressive, make some shots. Um, she's versatile. We think she's going to keep getting better and better and have a you know be, a, be uh, have a great WNBA career. But she's a great shooter. She's a great defender. She moves well. She does all the little things well. Um, but it was nice for her, um, you know, to see the ball go in. And you know, we just want her to to be who she is and, and be confident in, in what she does well. And, and she showed that tonight. Thank you, Fifi. Hey, Stu, in that second quarter where things got kind of slow, you scored six straight and uh, Courtney also contributed with her points and assists. Was that just an attempt to kind of put the team in your back with the offense kind of stagnant a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think just trying to really get, get downhill, get into the paint. Um, you know, as a post player, it's tough when you have an, an the opposing post player, like, running at you, especially with the ball. and. Um, forcing us to, to make something happen. I think Sloot and I were just really trying to um, light a spark and, and get things going. We cut it and then we didn't. Thank you. Miles? Hey, Brianna. Um, Minnesota knocked down 14 threes this afternoon and they had some open looks off of some drop coverage, some rotations. How are they finding such uh, consistent success from beyond the arc today? Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, defensively we obviously weren't great, but um, our rotations and our scrambled out, you know, they have shooters all across the floor. And, um, I mean, Alana Smith, Kayla, like, we have to rotate to them no matter what, no matter what the scramble is. In some moments we didn't. Um, and then, you know, like, when you're playing at home and you're shooting and you're shooting the ball well, it, uh, it only builds confidence for everyone else. We'll go to Jeff. Thank you. Uh, hey, all. Sorry, don't go your way today. My question is for Leo. Um, what was working for you out there on the floor, and how do you want to keep this momentum alive as you presumably take on a bigger role in the Liberty's death game? Um, for me, it's always fun to be on the floor, to be around um, my teammates. Um, I love I love to cut. I love to shoot the ball, um, and they put me in a in a good spot today, and it certainly helps that. The shots go in, um, and I will just continue to, you know, fill gaps, whatever the team needs, and and be um, tough on defense. Appreciate your time and insight, Brian. Hi everybody, um, Chris Sandy. On the night, you guys had 18 total turnovers. Would you attribute that to the group just trying to sort of like force things that may not have been there in the immediate moment that it was? Yeah, hundred percent. Look, I thought some of the turnovers it was I wasn't quite sure why we were trying to pass the ball in there and and that gives gave momentum to the other team. They got easy baskets, got some open threes in that phase too. Um, yeah, we just have to have a little bit more discipline. If something doesn't work, we have to know what the next action is and, and be better at that. Because eighteen turnovers is way too much, but the twenty five points off us, I mean that was uh, you know, that was yeah, really hard to that was hard for us to stay in the game. We'll go back to Jackie. Hi, uh, yeah. Uh, for Stewie, I I'm just curious in these past two games why you think the group has had a difficult time matching the physicality of your opponents. Um, it's a great question. Um, I think that 
you know, both teams have been, have been really trying to, to blow up any of our actions and making it, it tough for us. Um, JJ is seeing multiple bodies whenever she's in the paint, and um, they're really playing on a string together. And I think that, you know, for whatever reason in the last two games, um, as we've been scrambling out, there's been a moment of hesitation. And then when one person hesitates, everyone else kind of follows in suit. Um, but luckily we have two practice days to kind of get it back together and um, be be exactly where we, where we want. I think we have, what, three home games next week? Yep. Um, and our fans will definitely help us get into a good rhythm. Thank you. Russell? Yeah, uh, Sandy, you, you had mentioned, I think a couple of games ago, that tendency to go for, I think you felt the, the touchdown when you fall behind trying to score off that first action. Uh, did you see that again today, and, and how do you kind of slow that down? Yeah, look, I did I did see that a fair bit. Well, you know, trying to score too early in the possession, you got to move, especially really good defensive teams like Minnesota around a little bit, and just making passes that really weren't open. I don't know what they were looking at. Um, and that's where we just need to, you know, have a little bit more discipline and rely on our movement, um, you know, to instead of trying to force something that's not there and, and, and you know, it just takes out the whole rhythm of our game and how we want to play. Um, but, you know, we'll go back and watch the film and then we'll work on areas that we, we, we have to get better at. We've got a few holes at the moment, um, but, you know, I still, you know, believe in this team, we're going to be just okay. But, you know, going, facing some adversity now is probably, you know, it's not a bad thing for us. Um, it'll help us grow. Thank you. We'll finish with Fifi. Hey, Coach, just one more on the turnovers you mentioned. Uh, you guys started in the hole in the category 7-1 and one, and then were able to force, uh, able to force 10 uh, turnovers on Minnesota. Just what, what's kind of the key to kind of hold that defensive integrity throughout most of the game instead of just for small spurts in each quarter? Yeah, that's what we need to get to. It's just having a little bit more discipline. We're breaking down some of our coverages with what we're doing. That's a, you know, a lack of communication and, um, you know, overhelping when we shouldn't have overhelped and not scrambling when we should have been. So we got to have to tidy up that. The great defensive teams, everyone's got to be on a string and, and doing their jobs and just, you know, where we can be more physical and, and start blowing up stuff a little bit more. That's when we started, you know, getting our rhythm back about was being more aggressive on defense. And that's what we need to do for 40 minutes.